that wars change worlds. And if you have a global agenda, then global problems allow you to offer global solutions. And if you look how the world was transformed by the First World War and the Second World War, the world was a completely different place after both of those wars. And the idea all along has been to have a third world war to complete the transformation into a global state with a world government and a world army um, dictating to the global population. And what you uh, have um, now is a situation that this ISIS group has come out of nowhere, in effect, incredibly well armed, um, incredibly funded. I mean, I've seen figures like $2 billion at its disposal. And it's walking into, into towns um, in, 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 um, in Iraq and taking them over. It's established itself at the key border crossings into Syria and into uh, Jordan. And it's all happened really fast. The plan was to create a massive divide and rule conflict between the Shia Muslims and the Sunni Muslims. They're all standing off to let this ISIS um, get um, a big foothold in that region. And then if it, if it moves to the point where it starts to threaten Israel, then the button will be pressed. Then the uh, Americans and NATO will come in because they're committed to protecting Israel's security. The idea is for this third world war to involve Russia and China against the West. The idea is to um, basically um, bring everything to its knees so that um, the world would have to be rebuilt in its structure and the way it, 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 it operates. And it would, that would be in the image of what they've been working towards all along. World government, world central bank, world army, world currency, centralized control of the planet. What is happening in the Middle East is not random. None of it's been random. Libya's not been random. S Syria's not been random. None of it. And ISIS certainly isn't random. Uh, it's part of this um, long-term plan to take over the world by creating enormous chaos to which they can offer the order out of the chaos, their order, their new world order. You have to connect the dots to see the progression. Uh, going into Afghanistan was stage one, justified by the, the lie about 9-11 and, and who was really behind it. Then they go into Iraq. That has created the situation where this ISIS can now run riot. Um, they want to go down into Africa. Uh, and, and so they're creating terrorism all over Africa. Um, and so th one of the big blocks to what they wanted was Colonel Gaddafi. Uh, and so they had to get rid of him. That was, that was what the Libya thing was about, where they trained, armed and funded rebels to attack the uh, Gaddafi regime. And then these rebels and, uh, and others um, then moved into Syria after they'd done the th thing in Libya, and they did the same there. And they thought that Syria would go like Libya, but it hasn't. That's been a big problem yep. for them. By arming ISIS, the Americans allow them to also supply the, the terrorists in, um, in Syria, which they also control. Uh, and um, it's uh, all unfolding with the magician behind, or the puppet master behind the, behind the scenes. And um, w when we realize that, we can see that events are not random, but coldly calculated. These people are sheer, undiluted evil. And, and people need to understand that, otherwise they will reject that anyone could do what they're doing and kill and maim and slaughter so many people. They can do it because they have no heart, they have no empathy, they have no emotional compassion, and thus mayhem is their currency and they have no emotional consequence. Uh, they are not like us, so don't judge what they'll do by what you would do, because it ain't the same thing.